We're in Limestone Gorge country. But there's one gorge that's a cut above the rest. Let's go over look. Welcome to Sam and Kev's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Sam. And I'm Kev. And today Sam and I are in the Iceland Hill Scenic Reserve uh, located on the Kaikoura coast in Marlborough. We've got a uh, good trip ahead. We're going to be taking in three awesome huts and the iconic Sorka Gorge. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Nice obvious track that we're following here. It's been like this to be honest quite a bit off the way. So um, in November 2017 this area was hit by a huge earthquake, a magnitude 7.8 and it resulted in the Iceland Hill Scenic Reserve being closed and uh, that's made access very very difficult. Um, at the moment access is only available um, via the hydro parcels and I'll chuck a link in the description down below um, to the dock website that describes how you can get in but uh, for now I'd say despite how amazing saw cut gorge is it's a, uh, it's a tramp that probably should go on the back burner until access gets a little bit easier. So here we are in isolation hut, we've got eight bunks, two stainless steel tables and a fireplace sitting in here as well. Um, no water source, got to whip down to the river for that. So between isolation hut and Brian Boru Bivy, uh, the track is about two and a half hours. There's a pretty steep climb coming out of uh, isolation hut or descent on your way back into it. Um, and the track is incredibly overgrown. Okay, so uh, on our travels, we've seen a lot of these big New Zealand podocarp species. You can tell by the hammered bark. Looks like it's been hit by a hammer all over. Extreme hardwood. I'm not 100% sure which this species is, but I think it's a matai, but it's pretty impressive. So we're just between Isolation Hut and Brian Boru Viv. Um, yeah, I'll be pretty honest, this track is it's definitely quite overgrown in places. It hasn't had a lot of maintenance um, post earthquake here in Kaikoura. Um, it, it was closed for a long time. Um, if you are thinking about coming in here, just be aware of that because it is pretty hard going. And uh, I tell you what, I'm pretty worn out actually. <laughs> Two good bunks, they didn't look too old actually. And just a wee bench. Great wee bivvy and a great wee spot. So the track between Brian Boru Biv and Zoo Hut uh, again involves quite a steep climb out and uh, it is very very overgrown in places so uh, just be aware of that and uh, probably takes a little bit longer than you'd think. Track at uh, this point was still between Brian Bodu Biv and Zoo Hut, and track is pretty overgrown in places and a little bit hard as you could imagine. I don't think there's been a lot of people through here.
So here we are at Zoo Hut, the, uh, the last hut that we're coming to in the Scenic Hill Reserve. Um, quite small, four bunks in here. A um, couple of unique features. Number one, we've got uh, springs on the beds, so that'll be nice and comfy. Two, got these fantastic 1970s chairs, look at them. Absolutely amazing. Not surprisingly, given the difficulty in getting here um, post-earthquake, very few people have been here. So um, three parties since the start of uh, 2021. Also got a fantastic little wee fireplace um, potbelly stove. How, do you, how are you finding the climb, Kev? I'm not liking the climb. It's a bit steep, lots of limestone rock, it's all a bit slippery. And that is where we're heading, up there. So we're on our way back from uh, Brian Boru Bibby, Ice Station Hut. The um, track's pretty horrible. It's, uh, it's got some very steep sections, it's got a lot of wind blown stuff, and uh, Sam's, Sam's pretty fit, but I'm absolutely stuffed. And, um, but we've made a turn off here where Napoleon Bibby is, and uh, from here on, Isolation Hut's all downhill. I like downhill. Come on. Scenic Reserve. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time we're out and about.